Let's we'll speak with Jonathan Shannett, uh, agent to the stars, including uh, Eamon Holmes. Eamon, of course, formerly of this parish. Jonathan, good afternoon to you. Hi, Ian. Good afternoon to nice, you. Nice to have you with us. Um, did she get it about right? I think she did. I think it was a very difficult moment for her. It was a very difficult moment for the programme. And whatever they chose to say, some would think it was good and some would criticise it. But I thought, watching it objectively, and I had no clients involved, so I can be objective, I thought they got the tone exactly right. It was, I mean, nobody's disputing, it's, it's not, it's, it's a difficult one, isn't it? And, you know, they are appealing to, not necessarily to me, but to those loyal viewers of this morning, where it probably does matter, it certainly matters uh, commercially to advertisers, how they uh, they approach this. So she, she set a tone there. Uh, I thought it was quite clever in the sense that she, uh, simultaneously said she understood the mental health issues surrounding even Philip Schofield, but simultaneously... She didn't entirely let him off the hook and compounded the, uh, the, the line that, you know, he did something wrong. Listen, clearly the words would have been well thought out before and considered because they had to be balanced right because people are very much aware of Philip Schofield's mental state and it's important that whilst this morning and Holly say what needs to be said, they don't make things even worse for Philip. But I think... They got the judgment right. And also, add Ian, in the way that you have many loyal listeners who, who who find your show important to them, this morning is exactly the same. And because it's yeah. television as well, there are a million people a day who watch this morning and it's part of their life. So those are the people she was talking to. And to them, it is personal. Because the thing about daytime TV shows like this morning, the presenters are your friends. The people at home are there, the friends of those people. True. And, and therefore, they trust you, they listen to you, and they... They'll be talking about what she said as her friend said it. So it was important she addressed them because what makes a great daytime presenter like Holly is they genuinely care about the viewer. In terms of Schofield himself, I mean, it, I, I find this whole thing... I, I know to many people, when we've discussed it, Jonathan, they've said, hang on, it's show business, it's tittle-tattle, there was an affair, it's not desirable, it was in the workplace, balance of power and all this business. But... But actually, what I, th I think is fascinating is the idea that a, a person's entire career can be uh, obliterated over something like this. Uh, Schofield himself said in uh, those couple of interviews that he's since given, one to the Sun, that uh, his career was over. That's th the line he took. Is, is there a way back for Philip Schofield? Well, I think for many people, you know, when they're grieving, whether it's losing a job or losing a loved one, you're in a very dark, black place, and you, and you do think the world is over. But the truth is, time heals, and, and people forgive, and you move on. I don't think for a moment his career is over. I think he will come back at some point. I don't think he'll come back to presenting this morning, but he'll start off on a smaller TV station. You know, there's a guy called Michael Portillo, who was one of the most reviled people in Britain when he lost his seat at the general election when the Tories were knocked out of power. Yeah before the last Labour government. And, and if anyone said then Michael's going to become a TV star, he would have gone, but Michael's the most hated man in Britain. And look at him now, he's a beloved TV star. So I think people do come back. And uh, that's not to condone what Philip Schofield did or, or pass judgment either way. But I think I understand him being in a very dark place with the sort of mass intense media coverage mm. he's had and, and, and the hate and abuse for many people as well. But equally, he will come back, and he clearly has a loving family around him. And and he, everyone deserves a second chance. He hasn't murdered anybody. He hasn't broken the law. Yeah. And, and he doesn't deserve a, a death penalty for what he did. Yes, he deserves to be punished like he has been. But you don't get you know you don't go to prison for the rest of your life for a medium crime. You you, you serve your time and you start again. Yeah, fair point. Jonathan, it's always good to get your uh, expert view on these things, and it is an expert view. Thank you, Jonathan Charlotte, who is, of course, an uh, agent to the stars. I mean, it's the, the list of who he hasn't represented uh, isn't particularly long. The ones he has and still does is massive. Uh, he knows the terrain and the territory well. Thank you to him. Uh, I think Schofield could, should be able to uh, find a way back, surely. I mean, why would he not? Why, why would he not? Workplace affair? A bit unwise? That's kind of it, right? I mean, that literally is it.